Is there anything else to pick up? Medical station. Looks like that's it. This is gonna be a tough battle, boys. Ah, oh, see, so this doesn't have any money amounts on it. That means there's something in here that is useful, like an upgrade. Come on. You aren't showing it to me. What's this? Whoa! Now we have two sniper rifle damages, Garrus. Aren't you excited? Okay, best approach. Oh boy, there is no best approach. We're just gonna have to go up the center. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are- Right! Right! Good to know. Oh boy. Hostile! Oh boy. There's nothing I can do, really. Oh, shotgun still. Shotgun. Um... What kind of weapon doesn't shoot and does that 100%? Oh, Thane, that's not good. Um, I'm sorry, I may have screwed us all up. Um. Oh, sorry, you were gonna get that one, weren't you? Blue Suns. I wish my snipers would go to sniping positions. Where are they at? I don't know. Um, that's gonna fall on us. Can I? I got him a little bit. Garris! <laughs> You're in the way. Who just? Oh, a heavy. Oh. Shot ready. Okay, here we go. You ready, Shepard? We're gonna go flying. If they don't let us. Come on. Heavy, where's the freaking heavy? Uh, don't follow me, boys! Come on, let me jump over this. Why can't I jump over this? Data pad! Oh, there's a little Firing eye impact. Uh, I can't go into the middle there because that'll screw me over big time. Shot! But I can't do that, and I can't kill you from here. Oh boy! Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. Woo! That may have saved me for a second, but not for. Where am I? Is there anything around me? I. Oh no. There's. Ah, uh, they can see me. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, don't kill him, please. I kind of might need him. Okay. Come on, Shepard! Oh, not fair! Oh, I hate, I don't, I really don't know why, because sometimes, like, when the, when we were getting Tally, I could charge the floating drones and, like, go in the air and be like, pa-pow! But sometimes it won't let me do, even if they're right in front of me, sometimes it lets me go over things that I shouldn't be able to go over, like big open gaps of death, and sometimes it lets me go up on levels I shouldn't go up on, but sometimes it's like, Oh, there's someone right in front of you. I'm not gonna let you do it. Uh, that, okay, I knew I should have saved after hacking this. I was like, nah, I'll be fine. I haven't died yet. This is a tough battle. There's so many, and they come in with the advantage. They're all on high ground automatically, practically. And then they throw mechs in, and mechs just don't stop. You know, they'll wait till they're on top of you, and then they explode. What's this? Why is this? Oh boy. Whee! I have a lot of hours in this game. I mean, not like a too terribly much, but a decent amount. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse. Scanner. And I'd like to try to the flank, but carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. I mean, it's always kind of fun to try and flank. But sometimes it's not possible. Ah! Uh there we go. That's still the shotgun. Garrett, that's a good spot. Okay, got 
him. Can you get him? Yeah. This should punch through their armor. Okay. We've gotten the ones in the immediate vicinity. I think that guy might still be alive, actually. He is. Stand up. We just needed like a bullet. Get down, get down. Oh my gosh. Can I not get down from here? I'm not running from you, Shepard. No, you're not. It doesn't look like it. it. Surely doesn't. Let me charge him. Give me. Oh man, I got. in my way kind of now. Do I did I switch again? Switch again. Oh shoot, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Okay, now I'm oh man. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, whoa, oh god, I'm so sorry. Um Can I charge from here? No. Garrett's gonna die, Garrett's gonna die. Um boys, boys, boys. Um we need to relocate. We need to relocate. Um Babe. Get back get back there maybe. Nope, back back in cover. And I will bring Garrus back. I need help. I know you need help, I'm really sorry, I'm trying. Oh my gosh, there's no way, there's no way it's gonna work. Nope, not gonna work, not gonna work, not gonna work. Oh god. No! Freaking ow! It's like, it's just too short for me to try to get anything back from it, you know, like try to charge it, like, it's, it's guns take me down too quick. I thought for some reason that the mechs couldn't get, kind of couldn't get up to there so easily. I thought there was like a, a step, not a, like a, like a slant. Where am I at? 
Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just died again, but I was also just thinking that maybe you guys, um... I don't know, since it's like hard difficulty and everything, and some of you are interested in the tactics and stuff going on, that you might want to see how many times I uh, fail. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna see how long it takes before I die again. <laughs> Cause this one's tough. I mean, we, they are all, look at their, I mean, all, especially all the human, or the organics. They're all in high positions. They are all in very good positions with good cover. There's good cover everywhere. Can I get? Oh, interesting. Blow up. Okay. Get in range. Ah, that, me that heavy is really annoying, but so is this guy. <clears throat> Trying to at least get his shields down. Yeah, there is. He's getting his butt whooped by the heavy, which is understandable. <laughs> charge him when he still had his ammo on or his armor on Let's see if I can pull him oh I angled it wrong this should punch through there, there we go all right got him oh Firing you're almost dead. impact shot good job Garrus all right we got these guys to deal with Did they just drop them behind us? No? Okay. Yes? No? Okay. I'm not running from you, sir. Sure doesn't look like it. And it won't let me save. You jerkish game. Oh, hopefully. Uh. Alright. Um. That might be useful as cover. What do you guys have on right now? So thing go here. And actually, I will go down here. Uh, oh wow. Is he? That was weird. Okay. Garrus, you go here. And I will go here. I have and oh thing's already dead. Awesome. I probably put him in a bad spot. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay. I have like nothing. If I could just get the armor down of one. Can we push that one? Oh crap, I'm screwed. Um oh. keep mobile. Wait, oh shoot. Nope, okay. It's gonna explode. Okay, good. I took cover. Oh my gosh! What the heck? What was that? I was hoping it would blow up its friend, but holy crap, that worked way better than I thought it would. Wow. What? Uh, because why? Why are you not? Oh god, I didn't. I was like, I feel like 
feel like there's something else. There is. I just beat your two big mechs. Okay, I gotta say though, I don't think anything's landed on our heads and exploded on us. See, look, there I could. No, no, no! Oh man, I don't think that, that didn't count. Anything to grab up here? Just a cutscene! Did you not know that we are already, like, up here? There's no point in sneaking, because we just blasted our way up. He's trying to cover his tracks, though. You were close, but not close enough! Yep, well... Garrus is in no so mood to play nice. Fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. Yeah. <laughs> We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the- I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. So's dying, guy. <clears throat> oh. I don't know what else is bad for business. A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right, get off me! Come on, Garrus. Ah, Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrus? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. a paragon option there at all because yeah it's me it ha this has to happen your identity may be compromised but there That's might be I'm one coming it. up i'm sending an agent where do you want to meet all right he'll be there don't worry i got it covered it's all good he wants to meet you in front of orbital lounge middle of the day so, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a bit. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from C-Sec now. Come on, Garrus. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. I don't mind if you <laughs> knock him out, though. <laughs> I didn't shoot him. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Sedonis sure. better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Yeah, you don't know what Garrus has been through. He shoots criminals. That's what he does on Omega, he just shoots criminals. <laughs> but... There's no need for Garrus to damage his soul any more than he already had, and that has already been done. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? And that is something I luckily never have to deal with in these games. A close friend betraying me. Dragon Age is another matter entirely, but Mass Effect, you can count on the loyalty of your friends. But I like that, com like I like a little bit of, of, of Shepard's body language. She like, She's not like judging him so much. Like her face isn't like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. She's just like, it's she like just looks away and is like kind of shrug, you know? Like it's just not like you, you know? Isn't like staring him down and judging him with her eyes. She's just like, it's just not like you. 
and and then Garrus like he kind of knows like because because you can go you can kind of Garrus is one of the characters that will agree with you regardless of your Paragon or Renegade choices so you can kind of have a Renegade Garrus if you're a Renegade he kind of he kind of mirrors you a little bit but if you're a Paragon you can kind of try to lead him down a path that is not so hard you know like so like hardening of your soul or whatever I don't know you know I'm not sure but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened. Exactly. Shepard doesn't really get late. it. You don't have to go through at this. this. I mean, she does, Who's but... Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern. But I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. It's interesting. The I can dynamics get a clear shot from over there. of this conversation. Like that, you know, what Shepard's saying, what Garrus is saying, like, it's just, it's very interesting. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sight. Thane's just sitting back there like... Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. I, I would think Garrus would want to kill him face to face. You know? Like, to let him know that this is why he died. Yeah. Thane's like, so, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Cause otherwise, Sedonis doesn't know why he's all Shepard, of a sudden died. Can you hear me? I'm Loud like, Thane, what would you do? <laughs> all right, there he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. He's gonna kill him in a public place too. Like that's that's not Garrus, especially. You can tell when Turians are agitated when their his mandibles are moving. Move to the side. No, Garrus. Listen, Sidonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. Come on. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. Garrus has the same nightmares. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days. Shepard's like, come on, Garrus. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. So do you. Tell Garrus. I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just. Go. Tell him to go. Yeah. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. Garrus could still pull the trigger there. But Garrus has his I own know honor. I you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. <laughs> he just walks up really quickly. I don't want to talk about it. 
I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They wouldn't have they wanted you to do to this. Avenged, but when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. I don't think they would have... They wouldn't have wanted... They might want Sedona's dead, but they wouldn't want Garrus to do it, I don't think. You know what I mean? The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yep. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Indeed, Grey. isn't it? I don't know what to do with Grey. Trust your heart. I know, in the Dragon Age games especially, I feel like, they really show you a lot of morally gray characters. But... And Garrus, Garrus is growing hugely in Mass Effect 2, like, he likes to believe in justice, you know, and it's, to justice, everything is black and white, you know, like, the ideal of justice, like, there's people who are guilty, people who are innocent, you killed somebody, but Mercy says, well, they killed somebody because they were defending themselves, you know what I mean? But justice says, you know, a death for a death, an eye for an eye, but Mercy tries to look at the situation, it's like a statue. The Justice and Mercy statue, where Justice is blind, blindfolded, holding the scales, but Mercy's behind the Justice Angel, the Mercy Angel's behind the Justice Angel, kind of holding her back, you know, like, like, because the world isn't black and white. But Samara says the same thing, you know? She's like, curiosity gets you into trouble. She's like, if I have to kill a man for wrongdoing, do I really want to know he's a dedicated father, you know? So Samara believes in black and white, too. But Garrus has the chance to kind of understand that there is gray. And Garrus exists in the gray. Like, he's doing bad things for good reasons. He's killing people, which is bad. But he's doing it to protect people, you know? So, you gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, <laughs> Shepard. For everything. Shepard physically interacting Let's with people is always very awkward. Need some distance from this place. She's like reaches I'm out and like like taps them weirdly. I don't know. Yay! Garrus' traitor has been found and dealt with, leaving Garrus clear-headed for the mission. Operators in CSEC will ensure no criminal charges are filed against him or Shepard. May be able to co-opt Harkin's criminal network, sending agents to investigate. Yeah, armor fishing ammo. New blah 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 blah. Sweet. Let's go um play with our upgrades and see. Oh, we gotta go to my cabin and see where to see the little hamster and all my fish. I don't think I've ever actually gotten all the fish at once because I was like, no, I want to just have like one or two that kind of match. But I think if you just throw them all in there, they'll look really good too. But I think there has to be more fish than that. I don't know. Or maybe once you kill off, I think there is, but I think I killed off the ones. I don't think you can buy them again. <sighs> I didn't realize that. If they die, oh hey, while well, we're here, I guess. Can I help you, ma'am? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters... I'm a ma'am! ...and security are classified. We can't risk death infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of C-Sex undercover yeah, agents. Yeah, they're not Geth, I don't... Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Don't be Look, stupid. Miss, I fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. Not the unless they flashlight <laughs> has become the giveaway. <laughs> I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. Thank you, lady. We gotta try to make a good impression on everyone. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Uh, it's the weirdest loading screen. Sorry for the inconvenience. I wish there was like a little button there that was still like kind of rotating at least a little bit. So we could be like, you know, hey. At least it's like the door's trying to open, sort of, you know. Kalar. I could give them um, the IDs too. So Yeah, see, I could do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. <laughs> you what? How did you do that? Friendly. I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. My time! You have. How unexpected. 
We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Yay! Oh, I got experience for that. And Paragon, because I'm just so great. Uh, Bailey, talk to you about fate or something. I don't know. Yes? Boop, 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 boop. Nope, can't talk to you about fate. Oh, there's a bug in my room. Die, bug. Oh, free. Flew away. It's too quick for me. Also, it's flying right next to all my expensive equipment, so I can't just slam it. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I got fade for you. Well, I, you know, and it's Harkin. Let's just get rid of that guy. He's been a pain in everybody's side since almost the beginning, it seems like. And now I gotta freaking make, maybe make the, uh, the other heavy weapon because this one sucks. And I think the ice one has the same problem. I could be wrong, though. I'm wearing these pants that I've had for like many, many years, these jeans. And I had to patch them up the, uh, like a couple weeks ago and now I have to patch them up in a different place it looks like. They're super worn out. They're like the comfiest, they're like the jeans I wear when I want to wear jeans and look productive, but they're as comfortable as pajama pants. I've actually slept in them before too. They're so comfortable. I'll never get rid of them. I'll just patch them until I die. And they'll go to the grave with me. All right, we'll give Garrus a little bit of time by going to mess with our upgrades, and then we're gonna go talk to Garrus. Yeah, I can't believe I fought off two mechs without a heavy weapon, though. Like what it says at the bottom, heavy weapon can give you a freaking boost. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, that's kind of surprising. After Garrus's mission. All right, let's do this. Um. Sniper headshot damage. Now you get. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cheap. And then. Those are expensive. Heavy pistol critical. Heavy pistol sometimes deal double damage. Upgrades heavy pistol and hand cannons of your entire squad. Scientists have pro 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 prototyped a modification to the traditional smart targeting module, commonly incorporated in high, high end weaponry. While this technology is commonly used to compensate for wind and recoil, it was adapted to slightly deflect rounds to strike a more vital part of an enemy. Yeah, we don't have to deal with wind so much in space. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, where's the shotgun one? I've been wanting that for ages. I would need more platinum, though. Oh, well. Oh, shoot, wait. I might have needed platinum for... Oh no, okay. Well, sure. Now I have all the heavy weapons made. I don't have any more armor upgrades. I will get that someday at the very end of the game. Okay. Didn't I get a tech one? I thought I got, I thought I bought a tech upgrade too. That's that's a little odd. Or did I did I do that? It should be in the armor or what is it? Shouldn't it? That's a little weird. It's a little weird. Um okay, let's talk to Garrus. Come on, buddy old pal. And then we'll do tallies. And then we'll go check out the Normandy. My baby, baby. Yeah, they regenerate. Use headshots to kill them. I should maybe focus a little more on headshots. It's kind of hard with the SMG. Pistol is a little bit easier, but the pistol, I, I take a little more time to try to line up. The SMG, I don't have to worry about. Oh, no. <laughs> I love you, babe. I gotta go talk to Garrus. I can't believe the collectors were once Protheans. I know, right? I know, right? The Reapers did it. Hey, buddy. It's been a while. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just killing time, anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. 
Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. <laughs> you actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? <laughs> I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylish, of course. <laughs> don't sit down, Shepard! Oh, huge. no. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations. Oh, no. Do. I forgot. Oh, boy. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, <laughs> blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Shepard looks kind of cartoonish Honestly, there. The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a heavy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Garrus is just, uh, I really couldn't do this without Garrus, like, I don't know. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. Interesting for him to say. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Uh, he's been around, he's been around me too much. But he was like that from the beginning, you know? How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Yeah. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise. I wish we had scenes, some. Even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges. <laughs> there's, a, there's a. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats, nerves mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently. <laughs> Actually, she and I were the top ranked hand to hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. <laughs> it was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tie. <laughs> of course, I had reach. She had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress. Yes. I, I love the shepherd. <laughs> Just laughing. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Someday, someday I will romance Garrus. And it would be kind of funny to see if there was some sort of jealousy thing. But for my Shepard, I don't think she sees Garrus at all in that light. Um, she just, she just smiles and shakes her head because she knows what he's talking about. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Alright, Garrus. You were the best monitoring station. Oh ho, did not quite realize. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. We've had a good chat with Garrus. Next time, I will try to remember to go to the cabin. <laughs> um, and then we'll do Tally's mission. I Actually, let's see really quick. Just really quick, really quick, really quick. Um, I can't remember where. Oh, shoot, I should have checked. I don't know where. I think Garrus was after Jack. No, she was. he was after Morden, maybe. Um... Yeah, we'll do Tally next. And then maybe go back and do Jet. Or maybe we'll do... Maybe we should go get... We should maybe go get him, shouldn't we? Shoot. Oh, not right now. We're going to do Tally first. <laughs> uh, and then we'll figure out how to do everybody else. Um, I might do Grunt after Tally, because I really like Grunt. Which means we'll be doing Morden then. And then maybe Samara and Jack... <laughs> It's so hard to do, to like decide what order, like if you're talking about like what order your favorite's in, it's like, I don't know, or what order is most important, or like to be fair order, you know. I knew I had to do, I wanted to do things first, but I knew I had to get Miranda and Jacob done soon because I just felt bad. They'd been with me for a while, you know, they were like, they're Cerberus, they were like there and from the beginning of this, and so it's like, eh, I feel bad, they should get 
done soon. But anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.